welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What does it feel like to you, Doctor? Terror. The Last Dinosaur is one of the longest films we've reviewed, principally because it takes such a long time to get going. Here's to a successful bore. It's 25 minutes before the dinosaur hunting expedition even sets out. Why not just get to the dinosaurs? Oh, right. Back to the start, and we meet uber-wealthy super hunter Maston Thrust. It's not an alligator. It's a crocodile, and yes, I shot it. Despite his name, this is not a porn film. Mr. Thrust? Mr. Thrust! His oil drilling has made an amazing discovery. A polar valley superheated by a volcano in which we find... The king of the dinosaurs. Thrust is going to track it down. No, I don't intend to kill that animal. Very clear on that. This is a science expedition, so he brings along a scientist. It's Dr. Kawamoto. And a Maasai tracker. His name is Bunta. What he doesn't want is reporter Frankie. Now, I've been going on safari most of my life. I have never taken a woman. And I'm not going to change now. But Frankie is used to this sort of sexism and knows how to deal with it. You are a crazy lady. <laughs> she sleeps with him. Talent. The group is rounded out by generic expert Chuck Wade and once they reach the valley using the polar borer we finally see some dinosaurs and it's not all bad news certainly more convincing than the flirting <laughs> you are a crazy lady Falling down is a really big part of flirtation in this movie. <laughs> this time I know you're right. Hey! Tracker Bunter now comes into his own. Well, there's some odd-looking spore back there, and then we ran into these. Well spotted. Now, pleased as I am to see what I interpret as a King Kong reference, the T-Rex is not all that we might have hoped. It almost got him! And it's not the only disappointment. We've seen a lot of world's greatest hunters in dark corners, and they are always rubbish. Stand still! Yeah, it's moving like lightning. But the T-Rex's hunting skills aren't all they're cracked up to be either. Still, Thrust can always have another go. One of the damn thing is jammed! Come on, Bunta! Why are you throwing your gun away? Then I wrong. will have to make a weapon. Yeah, because unjamming it might be a bit of a faff. You ding-dong! While most of the crew are away, the T-Rex attacks the camp. <laughs> what, did he not hear it coming? Now, there are two things a T-Rex is famous for. King of the Dinosaurs, Silly little arms. So how in the hell... ...does it steal the polar borer? By God, I will not leave here until I have destroyed that thing! Or at all. Oh, shut up. Turns out there are cave people too. responding to her basic evolutionary need to accessorize. She joins the crew, who quickly invents slavery. Okay, you help me. You help me. By now, any scientific interest that Thrust ever had is long gone. I will hunt that thing down, and I will kill it. Cleverly crossing the lost world with Moby Dick. Because it's become an obsession with him. And if he can't kill it with some hilarious dinosaur slapstick... <laughs> ...then he'll kill it with... The same way it's been done for centuries, with a catapult. A catapult. Rock! 
Well, I can see you've thought this through. Fortunately for the team, who are, for reasons passing understanding, still following his instructions... Polar Bora! I found it! It's not two miles from here! But... First we get the dinosaur, then we talk about leaving. Leading to a long overdue rift in the group. But Frankie tries to talk him around. When you come back with me now, and I'll gladly be your Eve anywhere in the world. The love story doesn't land, partly because it's perfunctory. And I keep wondering what your mouth would taste like. Lovely. Partly because of the 26 year age gap. This is no good. We now reach the epic climax to which the whole movie has been building. See if you can spot why it lacks drama. <laughs> Crazy thing is, if they hadn't gone for slow motion, you probably wouldn't have noticed the rubber head denting and bouncing back. Anyway, dinosaur? Not dead, so... Let the dinosaur go! Let it be! It's the last one! So am I. Wow. All this time you never knew the last dinosaur was him. Unless you listened to the James Bond song over the opening credits. His time has passed. Okay, Moby Dinosaur, great idea, but the execution is horrific. The pacing is appalling, it takes forever to get started, and then jumps four months into the middle of a war with the cavemen whom we don't even see them meet. One minute Frankie is devil may care, staring down a charging dinosaur. Get this one more time! The next, she's a panicky woman. It's moving! Oh, ah! oh! Before being reduced to kitchen skivvy. You know you're beginning to sound like a shrew housewife. And the other characters have no personality at all. Punta means the owner of 100 wives and 1,000 head of cattle. Even by our standards, this one is dreck. I don't think he understood. Thanks for watching. To see more dinosaur movie reviews, click here. Maston Thrust is a name that goes straight into the Hall of Fame. What are your favourite movie character names? Let us know in the comments below. Get out of my camp, you freak!